The primary duty of government is to keep the people safe. For decades now, British governments, whether Labour or Conservative, have opened our borders, spending your money, allowing mass immigration. They have not considered our well-being for one moment, and they won't consider it in the future either. We are governed by an elite and wealthy clique that lives entirely by its own rules, takes your vote and your taxes for granted, and then betrays you and abuses your trust. This won't go away on its own. We have to rise up against it. Now, since the beginning of this year, we have been locked down by our government regulated to an extent never known before. And we will pay for this. Rishi Sunak will be fine. Boris Johnson will be fine. Matt Hancock will be fine. You, however, will be much poorer. Now, while you were locked up, yet another crime against you was being committed, was taking place. And that crime is the crime of illegal immigration. Government linked companies. I'll say this again. Government-linked companies are making vast fortunes giving your country away. Thousands and thousands of immigrants continue to arrive. They will not blend in with our culture. They will threaten it. They will not be grateful for your generosity, but will demand more and more of you. Now, we have had Decades of problems as a result of incompatible immigration. Tens of thousands of girls have been raped. We have been blown up in the streets. We have spent billions on strangers while our own people starve. Now, incompatible immigrants will not be living. They will not be housed on Rishi Sunak's street or Boris Johnson's street or Pretty Patel's street. They will be housed with you. They will transform your neighbourhood so that you no longer recognise it. They will transform your country so that you no longer recognise it. We are living in the nightmare of knowing that we are the victims of serious crimes committed by our own governments. A remote and sinister cabal of civil, civil servants, big business, are what Donald Trump called the people in the dark shadows. That is who runs our country. And they are facilitated in this by those we elect. But don't forget, who we elect, we can also remove. And remove them, we must. Immigration is not just another political issue like schools or housing or welfare. Why? Because it's one of the most important issues of our lifetime, because it will determine the future of this country it will decide whether or not there is a Great Britain to pass on to the next generation. Now, while you work and pay your taxes, nowadays wearing a stupid mask, those in the dark shadows are planning a prison state. One with no identity, no roots, no heritage, nothing that unites and empowers the British people. They are determined to turn Britain into a bit of land. It's not. It's Great Britain, and it must stay that way. Now, this immigration is taking place not by accident, but to reduce you, the British people, to insignificance. They will import foreign cultures and tell you that those cultures are better than ours. They will import crime and corruption and outright horror and threaten to arrest us if we complain. Next May, there will be elections in the UK, and it is the most important trip to the ballot box since Brexit, if not even more so. We have no choice but to stop enabling those who enable those in the dark shadows. We can do it. You can vote them out. We can take back control of the nation, control of the borders and control of our lives. British politics is no longer about Labour versus Tory. It's about the British people versus those in the dark shadows. And it is crunch time. 
What we do in the coming years will determine the existence of British people, their liberties and their lives. If we make the wrong decisions, there will come a time of no going back. We will lose Britain. We will lose all you know and care about. We will lose your children's future. They will never know what it is to be a free and powerful individual. They will be cogs in a machine and a machine whose sole purpose is the enrichment of those in the dark shadows. Now, for Britain is clear. We know that immigration is a weapon to defeat the British people. We know that the time we have to save our country is short. We also know that it can be done and that step one is stopping the immigration. I will never falter or flinch. I will never be bought and I will never back down. Immigration to the United Kingdom must stop now. Those who should not be here must be sent home now. Those who commit crimes against us, no matter their status, will be sent home now. And those who refuse to accept, respect and adapt to British culture, guess what? They'll be sent home. Make sure you speak out against this next May. Or better yet, stand for election yourself. Let's get ourselves into the council chambers so that we who stand for Britain have a seat at the table. A single councillor can show the world what the elected actually get up to when the voters aren't looking. We can open up the whole can of worms for people to see and we can reveal those in the dark shadows. We have the power. It's your ballot paper. That's your power. Use it. Join with us. Refuse, refuse as I do to bow down to this. I refuse to let them turn. Britain over to the people in the dark shadows. Thank you.